It is so long overdue. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's finish this thing. Oh my gosh, finally. Hey, Doc. Is this enough Zugal parts for you? Yes. With this much, cultivation shouldn't be a problem. Impressive as usual, Alpen. I hope your herb garden can grow well now. It definitely will, thanks to you. Speaking of which, I'm curious. There are Renin machines that treat sickness now. Why focus on growing medicinal herbs? I hear you. And that technology is definitely impressive. But machines break, don't they? You can rely on them sometimes, but not always. That's when herbs come in to save the day. That's true. Healing arts are useful as well, but sometimes you just need medicine. The way I see it, the most important thing is knowledge. Machines break, and medicine runs out. But with the right knowledge, you can repair a machine or make more medicine. Knowledge never goes bad. You never cease to amaze, Doc. Always thinking one step ahead. Flattery will get you nowhere, Alpen. My knowledge is still quite limited. I'd like to expand what I know about herbs. It'd help to find a book or meet someone who knows more than I do. Then we'll try to find that for you. Maybe there's a real herb master somewhere out there. I'd really appreciate that. If I were younger, I'd go searching myself. No need for that, Doc. Let us do the footwork. You just wait here. Hmm. Who might be an expert on medicinal herbs? I might know someone who's familiar with books on them. Remember? In the Palace in Vicent. Oh, yeah! Tigrina, the librarian! So, you remember her name, huh? Interesting. Uh, hey, what's with the stink eye? Kind of noticed there's another quest for Alfin here, which is interesting. But we'll get to that later. We'll finish the current one first, I think. Um, so which room in the library? So that means the entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. I can do that. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, yeah. I, uh, I... Foolishly thought the quest was done by getting the titanium things, but uh, no, no, there is more. Of course there is. Why would it be over? That would be silly. Why are we in this world if not but to suffer a little? Uh, no, I, I kid. It's it's fine. I'm uh, I'm down to do more. Uh, hello. Hey, Taguna, right? Can we talk for a minute? <laughs> What's this? Me? And you? Is this your way of asking me out on a date? No, 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 that's not what I meant at all. We're just here for books. Do you have any uh, any about medicinal herbs? How's this? Of course. What kind of medicinal herbs? Aphrodisiacs, perhaps? Uh, no. There's someone in Uzbek trying to cultivate herbs to help other people. <laughs> Aw, what a wonderful person. In that case, I think this book on medicinal herbs would help. Oh, it would be helpful. I'm not sure it's fast. I'm a librarian. I know every book here by heart. This one's written by an author who wants to help people heal. I bet just reading it could clear your skin right up. Uh, oh, that's great. A book with that much passion should help Doc. Could you tell this amazing Doc something for me? If he ever has any questions, come talk to me. Maybe someday I'll even visit him when I'm in Lilsbeck. Got it. Right. We will tell him. Thanks. Okay. We've got the book. Let's take it back to Doc. She really is an amazing librarian. A bit unique, though. Well, that was very easy. Um, so thank you. <laughs> thank you for making my job very straightforward. You could argue I barely did anything. Uh, I travelled. I Looks came like back. We made it here in one piece. Sorry, didn't mean to speak to you. We found a book for you, Doc. Apparently, it's full of details about medicinal herbs. Oh, amazing. All these illustrations are a big help. I'll be able to grow so much more with this. Great to hear. That makes all the searching worthwhile. The owner said if there's anything you need to know, just contact the palace in Vicent and she'll respond. How considerate. You really went out of your way for me on this one, huh? <laughs> I feel busier now than when everyone called you a hero, Alfin. <laughs> you may be right. But now Doc's Herb Garden will succeed, 
and a lot of people will get help. I can't disagree with that. As I'm sure you already know, that's just how he is. You could. Oh, I gave him long ago. It's part of what makes him Alfin. You guys are gonna make me blush. Uh, enough of this. Let's get what we came for and get going. Sure. Here you go. Feel free to come back anytime. Of course. Oh, let's see what they're like. Oh, that's right! Okay, so I wanted to- I forgot. I did this off camera. Uh, well, I'll watch this say, first. I'm impressed with the old man's keen insight. I know, right? I've always known him as a dependable person, but Doc still surprises me every time I see him. He's always looking at the big picture and how his actions can help others. I think it's really admirable. I agree. But, you know, those same things apply to you, Alfin. You should be proud of yourself as well. Thanks, Shion. If Doc ever does end up meeting the librarian, though, he might be in for a bit of a surprise. That's for sure. She certainly is somewhat unique. Who knows? They might end up getting along. Hmm. They do seem to share a similar passion for knowledge. Perhaps they could spend some meaningful time with one another. Anyway, I'm glad the Sovereign and Maiden outfits are back in our hands. Me too. Now we can wear them whenever we want. Yeah, you should wear them every day to make all the trouble we went through worthwhile. The whole point of owning clothes you like is having the freedom to wear what you want when you want to. It's no fun if you feel obligated to wear something. That's right. You shouldn't need a reason to dress up. You should just dress for yourself because it's something you want to do. I'm surprised. It's rare for us to have the same opinions on clothing. Maybe you're finally starting to understand fashion. Well, I did have a good teacher. My, my. You two have gotten close. Looking back on our travels, Alfin, it occurs to me that you volunteered to help countless people by performing relatively menial tasks. Maybe instead of a hero, they should call you a handyman. That title probably suits me better than Sovereign or Blazing Sword. Alfin, the handyman. Nah, sorry. That's lame. They're all done. I've completed all of these, every single one, unless there's one I've missed, I'm just triple checking that, but uh, no, I'm pretty sure I got them all, um, yeah, and with plenty of points to spare, and we're going to get a ton more as well, so I'm actually surprised it was that easy, um, okay, so we got a new weapon, it is not as good, and I suspect this won't as well, which is a shame, but it is the way it is, but at least we got it, so that's pretty cool, um, and I presume that it will be in outfits, um, uh, it sure is! We're absolutely using it! Yeah! I love it! I love this outfit. Um, oh, where would it be in... Uh, where is it? It would be... That. Yeah, it's the braided bun. Uh, it was like a version of it with... Uh, yeah, it was that version. Um, do I want the braided bun or... Or just... Sure, why not? Why not? We'll go... We'll go full classic it's great um so oh, i forgot there's the towel <laughs> i do actually like the uh the, the darker blue coat it is pretty good the rest i'm fine with but the darker blue coat on rin looks real good um but yeah so there you go that's uh, that's that done i guess uh we got a new quest um so let's get a move on i suppose Come on, just a little. Why are you? Not gonna happen. Everyone's in the same boat. Fine, lousy cheapskate. What did you just say? After all we've done for you. Cut it out. What's going on here? Oh, it's you. Perfect timing. Let's ask the Blazing Sword, shall we? Suits me just fine. I'm not gonna complain about whatever the Blazing Sword decides. Now, wait a sec. Hmm. This kid is trying to get materials to repair his house, but there's a waiting list. Come on, I don't need much. I'm worked to the bone and I just want a place to sleep after a hard day's work. What's wrong with that? You think you're the only one? Materials are distributed after performing thorough investigations into necessity. We can't make exceptions for everyone. Well, I suppose that's true, but... Damn right it is. The Blazing Sword is on my side. No, all I'm saying is... Then give me some for the going to Moscow. That shouldn't be a problem, right? Moscow? Materials meant for the Renans? 
Uh, I suppose there may be some flexibility there. <laughs> they put us through hell for so long! They can hardly complain if we do to them what they did to us. Now, just wait a minute! Huh? What, you have a problem with that? You're the one, you, the one who pummeled the Renans? Yeah, we just, just wave that sword of yours around and they'll fall in line. I only wanted to end their tyranny, not out for revenge. What? Well, that's what you say, but I know how you feel. But with that kind of thinking, the fighting will never end. You've got to understand, you can't inflict the same pain you've suffered onto others. I've got no intention of disobeying you. Yeah, it's not like we can stand up to the Renans about you anyway. That's not what I'm saying. It's not about what the Blazing Sword says. You didn't drop Zephyr's name. I can't play that card forever. I do understand how both of them feel. It's just that... It's important to explain yourself using your own words. But it's just as important to rest when you need to. Let's call it a day. Yeah, alright. So what am I going to do in this quest? It seems like the answer is sleep, and then that's that. I presumed I was going to be getting materials for him. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Oh, you look thoroughly beat. Care to take a rest? I sure do, thank you. Oh, what? Look at you. No way. What the? It's you. Weak as always. You make me sick. Full run. But you're dead. Oh? Then how am I here before you now? It's a dream. I'm just dreaming. Is that what you think? Allow me to enlighten you. I know the truth of this world. Friendship. Trust. All that you believe in is fragile and fleeting. Stop. Those you seek to save are selfish and uncaring. You know it to be true. The only way to unify them... Stop! ...is through fear. Absolutely not. Holy moly! You are level 100, my dude. Okay. Reminder, I can use items, and I will. Okay, that did loads. Let's keep it. Oh my god! Holy moly! You love to see it. Jesus Christ, the amount of damage I'm doing. The level 100, you're not as powerful as I expected you to be. I expected you to be way, way worse. Like, infinitely worse. Okay, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Whew. What's the matter? No words to disagree? Are you so afraid to admit the truth? That power and fear will always win over faith and honor? Or will it take the pain of the whip to open your eyes? Maybe. It's true that I don't know the pain of the whip. I couldn't feel pain when they struck me, after all. And I understand what you're saying. People can be selfish. That much I can't deny. They hide their true intentions to get what they want. I've seen it countless times. Even so, I choose a path free of oppression. So a refusal, then. At the very least, you have no choice but to use force if you wish to destroy me. Do I? Maybe you can be defeated with force. But that would make me no better than you. If you utilize fear to rise above others, you'll only live in fear of when you yourself will fall. It's another form of oppression. Hmm. You aren't Volron. You're a shadow born from my doubts. Even if that's true, I still have the power to engulf you in darkness. What will you do if not destroy me? If you were born from me, and that means you're a part of me. I'll accept that and keep on living. <laughs> Taking the weak route, are we? Go on then. 
But stay vigilant, or the night may come when this shadow consumes you. I'm used to your threats, but I'll heed your warning all the same. Good morning. <clears throat> Didn't get enough sleep? No, it's not that. Then what? I think I had a strange dream. Oh? About what? I don't remember exactly, but... I think it was important. Well, whatever it was, you seem less tired than you were yesterday. Now that you mention it, I do feel like a load has been lifted. Good. Now let's get moving. We still have a lot to do. Yeah. I'm not giving up. Oh, right. That's that, I guess. Okay, cool. We're not even, like, concluding the whole thing. <laughs> we're, just, we're just leaving them to bicker. Cool. Good stuff. I just assumed I was going to give them materials. No. Oh, Aww, that's, uh, that's tired, new. Poodle? You sure he's not just trying to hide from us? <laughs> um, I think... No, not you. I want egg. Uh, right, I think that's... Uh... An artifact, is it not? Um, maybe it's not. Maybe it isn't. I'll take it back. Fair enough. Um, I think it's just the thing that gives me the boost power. Uh, so, Legion. Let's see what your thing is. This will be his last one. So, yeah, we are. Slowly approaching. I guess that's 35, right? 35 done. Is that so? So, Avakir isn't there, isn't here. He's one of your of the friends you asked to look after things in your absence, isn't he? He must be at work. He's the type who feels guilty when he has too much free time. Lord Doholi. And you are? My name is Lentigar. Avakir left me in charge in his stead. Mm. I see. I appreciate your help. Uh, Avakir will be away for some time. If you need something, I will assist in any way I can. No, I just came to see Avakir. I'll come back again later. Uh, if you wish, I shall alert you as soon as he returns. <sighs> uh, yes. Uh, there is a magnificent statue in Saxlio Temple. Before you depart, you simply must see it. Mm -hmm. What was that about? He brought up the statue out of nowhere. Hmm. hmm. Mind if we make a quick stop? Sure. I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting at him. Um, so... A statue in Saxlio Temple? I have no recollection of any such thing being there. Maybe someone put it there recently? Who besides Dolhalim would do that, though? What are you looking at? I'm not sure. The world in front of me, I guess. Nothing has really changed, but somehow it feels like I'm looking at something new. Even the stars are brighter. It's like a wall that was always there is gone now. It's hard to describe. Maybe your breakthrough has let you see things differently. You think so? <laughs> yeah. You might be right. Maybe I was scared. That people would be disappointed in you? Yes. But then I was thinking, do you remember the last thing Volron said to me? If you choose to walk that path, you choose that path. You choose a path of betrayal, despair, and corruption. I remember. If I kept trying to play the hero everyone wanted me to be, I may have ended up just like he said. Of course, I know this won't solve all my problems. I'm sure there will still be times when I face betrayal or despair, but I can accept that it's the result of my own choices. As long as I make my own decisions, I will be the master of my own fate. It's strange how a simple change in one's mindset can make such a big difference. It's not like I'm doing anything differently. You freed yourself. It's been a while, but you finally look like yourself again, Alfin. Thanks. Thank you, Shion. 
Yes, uh, I actually got some new equipment. I got, uh, I upgraded this uh, warrior emblem, so I've got more elemental defense, more HP, better attack. Um, yeah, I put this. Uh, I was going to put this on uh, Rimwell, but she has uh, elemental attack 15%, which is real good. Um, so I gave her this because it's extra elemental attack. Grass, Smackdown. Um, so yeah, Smackdown uh, makes it easier to down. I mean, but and increases damage dealt from arts for consumer wagey by 50 percent So they're really good stuff. Um, Zebra Springs there, and I just gave them something, but basically gives them more HP and a little bit more attack. It's very, very minimal, but it's, it's something. Um, so yeah, I, I was quite happy with that, but I found some cool stuff. Oh, this is the... Right, I was going to say, like, there was nothing to do in this temple. There was, like, what, some gold in the corner or something? But otherwise, there was nothing here, so actually this... Makes sense there's finally a reason to be here. Which is good. So, yeah. See, I'm pretty sure we've completed 35 out of 40 quests right now. This is obviously one of them. There were two more... Letter quests that I saw. I don't know if all 40 are going to, or like, the final seven or how many that are left are going to be available now. But I guess we'll find out. This is the place Lendigo I mentioned. Oh, yeah? I don't see any statue. I see. And I thought you'd be here. You guided us here to meet in secret, didn't you? Yes. And the truth is, Faria has been abducted. What? Abducted? Avakira has gone alone to rescue her. How absurd. Alone? The, the fool! What was he thinking? There's more. You forbade me from mentioning, but what? Tell me all you know. Traces found at the scene suggest the culprits are dead. Hmm? Surely you understand. If news of this were to spread in the city, things could get ugly. That's why Avakir went on his own. Knowing Avakir, he must have felt responsible for uh, to me and Tarnigan. This is just the kind of thing he would do. Oh, Thank you for telling me about this situation. Kisara, I apologize, but... We need intel. For anything related to Danans, uh, again, he's the one to ask. Thank you. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah, fast travel is much faster. <laughs> Hence the name. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here. Something must be amiss for the Renan representative to come all this way. I'll get right to the point. A Renan has been abducted. Rumor has it the abductors of Danon. Do you know anything about it? It is no small feat for one of us to lay hands on one of you. I know what you want to say, but there's no time. Please, if you know anything at all... Uh, very well. But I haven't heard anything myself. If you give me some time, though, I'll ask around. Thank you. In the meantime, we'll see if we can glean any information on our own. Who are we talking to? People in each level... Let's go. Let's speak to some peeps. <laughs> Lord Davalim, when did you return? Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary of late? Hmm. It's not exactly that recent, but more and more people have been voicing grievances. Grievances with the current situation? How Renans must rely on Danans for survival? Sure. Yes, quite a few are wondering if we can't at least have the city to ourselves. Some would say it would be easy for your lordship to grant that with but a single command. Enough! The era of one-sided rule by the Renans is over. But that does not mean we will be ruled by the Danans either. I understand, of course, but not everyone can accept that. Uh, no. Seems a lot of the Renans still have high expectations for you. from any lord. It's been like this since the Convergence. But living up to others' expectations is something I'm sure you can relate to. Yeah, deeply. Dohalim, I've been thinking about how you've been bringing together the refugees from Lenigus all by yourself. It's incredible. Right? It sounds like you've got a lot to deal with, but I never hear you complaining. Way to go, man. Each thoroughfare is a river. 
the aimless wanderers its flotsam. The rapids become deafening in their ceaseless roar. What are you talking about? Uh, is there a dangerous river in Belizean or something? No, that was Dohalim's somewhat idiosyncratic way of complaining. Huh? Which part? The deafening rapids represent the troubled voices of the people here. He has to listen to their woes every single day, so I suppose he must get tired after a while. Uh, okay. Though, to be honest, even with it explained, I'm still not sure I really get it. My hand extended to carry any burden, receiving but pebbles. He wants to help them solve their problems, so he listens to their concerns, but they only ever bring him small, trivial matters. How did you get all of that? Suspended outside your window, sunlight caught on its sodden shadows. Tis no cause for shame. Wow, it sounds so mysterious. What's this one about, Kisara? In this case, the sodden shadows would be laundry. One of the Renans must have complained about wet clothing that some Danon hung out to dry. He's expressing the frustration he feels at having to listen to such petty grievances all the time. Yes, your inferences are correct. As a man in my position, I find it difficult to speak my mind. Looking back, my achievements in Menencia truly would have been impossible were it not for your assistance. I find I am quite inadequate on my own. Dohalim, you're a hard worker. You should be proud of that. I'd be glad to lend an ear to your complaints any time. Great courage is needed to travel the long road ahead. You, as ever, are my courage. Dohalim? Yes, let's continue to travel it together. I don't think I need that one explained to me. I still don't get it. Hey! Excuse us, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Uh? Anyone suspicious? Oh, I sure have. The upper floors are full of them. <laughs> I see. But it's not as if they've actually done anything, have they? That ain't funny. Uh, not in the last year, but have you forgotten what they did before that? No telling what they might get up to in the future. And don't even get me started about all the folks in the other regions. Sending all their remnants to the city only caring about their own damn safety. And just what are we supposed to do if all these remnants were they, they gathered here start an uprising? What then? I'm sure steps have been taken to prevent that. I think you're hm. lying. I certainly hope so. The people here must have a lot of anxiety and frustration. I can't blame them for that, but it is still a difficult issue. <laughs> hey, I know you. You're the Blazing Sword, aren't you? Did you come to drive out all of these Renans? No, doesn't look like it. You wouldn't be with a Renan Lord if that were the case. I'm gathering intel. Have you noticed anything odd recently? Seen anyone acting weird? Heard any rumors? Anything at all? Hmm. Come to think of it. I don't know if he was up to no good or nothing, but I did see an odd looking fella. A Danon? Sure. That's right. There's lots of folk from all parts around here. But even so, he stood out like a sore thumb. He was weird and kind of awkward, you know. Who could it have been? If that's one of the people who abducted Faria, what could their end goal be? Ugh. It doesn't matter. Right now, we need to find out where they took her. Calm down. I know you're worried, but you're not acting like yourself. You're right. My concern has overcome my manners. Some time has passed. I think we should check in with Ganyi. We might have learned something. Good idea. <sighs> uh, you are level three. Dohalim sure seems on edge. He's more worried than he lets on. We have to do what we can for him. You don't have to tell me. Kidnapping is absolutely vile. Do you have any leads? I may have something that'll interest you. Can't say it's good news, though. Late in the night, some men were spotted transporting a large package out of town. It was dark and the witness didn't get a good look at the men. But they say the package was big enough to fit a person inside. The witness says the men were muttering something about the woods. Uh, uh, woods. Shinefall Woods would be the closest. All right. We should investigate. We finally have a lead. 
I also hope to avoid any unnecessary conflicts. I pray for a speedy solution to your problem. Thank you for your help. Why would anyone be Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll listen to that one with that. Uh, it's right here. That's handy. It's close by to the fast travels. After Faria, maybe because she's important to Dohalim? It can't be a coincidence, right? We'll know once we apprehend the culprits. Come on. Faria is somewhere in these woods. I sure hope she's okay. <sighs> yeah, so actually, uh, I wanted to quickly show you. Uh, if you forge weapons, that's actually a new weapon for everyone. Um, but uh, arguably it's not as good, even though you, like... Um... Like, yeah, you have to, like, the the weapon we found in other locations, uh, even though we have to utilize that to make it, and also a Ryugola core fragment, which I've not found any of. I don't know if that's something I can buy, actually. Um, yeah, the penetration is super low. Um, like, it definitely has benefits, but I don't know if it's actually better. Like, I'd argue it isn't. So I'm unhappy with not getting it, honestly. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd show you that, just Look, because it's intriguing. There. Is that? Doe, what, what are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing. Have you gone mad? Running off on your own? I wanted to avoid causing any trouble while you were away. Sorry, were the kidnappers the ones who hurt you? Yeah, I tried to get Faria back, but I was too weak. I'm not as good as you. Is she still alive then? There's no doubt about that. Don't listen, the culprits. I know. Avakir, you head back to Pelegion. Kisara, you're with me. What was that just now? It's rare to see Dohalim like this. Yeah. His silence speaks volumes. No time to dally. We need to act quickly. I'm glad I made it in time. Okay, where exactly? Oh, whoops. Where exactly is it? It's down here. I will fast travel. <laughs> it is so much quicker. I wish I could use healing arts. So, just down here? or Yeah, I guess so. Faria, are you alright? Do! Is that you? Lord Dohali... What are you doing here? Lord? That's enough. Doe, be careful! You would go so far as to disguise yourself as the very people you hate. <sighs> so you know. I'd expect no less from the great Lord Dohalim. The abductors are Renans? They slipped away with Faria and defeated Avakir when he gave pursuit. Though those two are not warriors, overcoming them would be no easy task for a Danon. They were attempting to frame Danons for the crime. My guess is they were trying to make me hate Danans as they do. Precisely. But that's only because you won't do your damn job as our lord. Ever since we lost Lenicus, we've been living like prisoners. Yet you only preach reconciliation, neglecting your duty as our guardian. How could you be so selfish? I am still a guardian of the Renans. But that does not mean continuing our rule. <laughs> it's just our luck you'd come back on the very day we execute our plan. We may have failed, but there are others who see you as weak. You had better watch your back. Doe. You succeeded at one thing. Your intent was to anger me. However, the focus of my anger is you. Any that harm my friends will be punished. <laughs> Doe, Halim, don't! <laughs> if you give in to your anger, you will be no better than our enemies. Please, stand down. You're right. His fate must not be decided by personal feelings. We will deliver him to Pelegion to face due process. Thank you, Kisara. You prevented me from making a grave mistake. That's my job, after all. <laughs> the criminals have been turned over to the authorities. Thank you, Kisara. That should be the end of the ordeal. After all that, I just caused more trouble for you. I'm glad the two of you are safe. That's all I can ask for. Still, I have a feeling there's more trouble to come. There are still plenty of Renans and Danans who are unhappy with the way things are. 
I'll have to come up with other ways to keep things under control. I'm counting on you. That reminds me, Avakir. I only learned of the kidnapping because Lentigar was concerned for your safety. You should... <sighs> yes, you're right. I'll be sure to thank him. We should let Ganya know the problem's been resolved, too. Let's go, Kisara. Do. Yes? Thank you. And... Hmm? Take care of yourself. I appreciate the sentiment. Sorry, I skipped a line. I didn't mean to. You know, I, like, I guess I double now. tapped. But uh, yes, let's head to level 3. This was a nice little mission. Like, didn't really have to do anything, but it was just, you know, it's a good backstory. All good, like, character development. It was cool. The culprits were Renans disguised as Danans? Oh, you have a very different voice to what I gave you. <laughs> Their intent was to turn Dohalim against the Danan people. As a Renan, I apologize. Danans were being framed. Ganya, please no. Dohalim would never. You're quite the conscientious one, aren't you? You could have kept quiet about the truth, and none would have been the wiser. And that's despite the fact that you were the target of this plot. I believe telling you was a necessity. I agree. In fact, I feel the urge to let my fellow Danans know just how honorable you are. Ganya. I hope this relationship continues, takes root, and endures long after we are gone. On my name, Dohilim Ilkaris. I vow to do all that I can to that end. Oh. Ah, that's that's all the character sub stories, I guess. Are you thinking about your friend, Faria? I've ended up putting her through another ordeal. Avakir as well. They've been made to suffer just for knowing me. And it's likely this will not be the last time either. It's not your fault. Your position means Danans and Renans alike are going to look at you with their own individual prejudices. One side expecting the best, while the other assumes the worst. Much like what Alfin has experienced. I understand. No. Understanding is not enough. I should have expected something like this to happen. Whether it was to a friend of mine, or someone else, it was my responsibility. And it's my fault for not being prepared. I'm going to instruct them to reinforce security. Of course, we'll have to do so carefully so as not to incite the old guard. Did you think I would blame myself more? No. You're no longer your old self. I don't plan on going back. Besides, the situation wasn't all bad either. Avakir had a colleague who cared about him and was willing to step forward. The situation is changing, slowly but surely. If things continue this way, it may someday lead to that utopia you spoke of. One where all people are treated equal. Though, I do not know how old I'll be by the time I see such a world. No matter the age, you won't be seeing it alone. That's true. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. We're on 36, right? I presume. Let me just double check that, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 36. So there's one here, and two somewhere else. There might actually be two in the same screen, or whatever. So yeah, there's... There's... there's yeah, yeah, I'm hoping for the final four are not uber long, but we will see. <laughs> Like hell! I paid my hard-earned cash for this! But we need that food! We're starving! Hmm. Sounds like quite the dispute. Care to fill me in on the details? Oh, Lord Dolim! The Danans are buying up all the food! They're trying to starve us! Oh, stop with the false accusations! I'm simply buying the food that I need! I have no obligation to give it to you just because this is the last of it! I need it for my family! Don't even try to tell me you have, mum you have mouths to feed! How dare you! I did have family, until we were slaughtered by you Ren and scum! Calm down, both of you. I understand the quarrel. This isn't enough food- there isn't enough food to go around, correct? In Pelagian, business is conducted fairly with no distinction between Danans and Renans. It is unfortunate for you, but that means first come, first served. This man has the right to purchase the food. That can't be! You don't understand! 
My father is ill. He needs nutrition in order to recover. Uh, oh, really now? And how do we know you're not lying just so you can get more for yourself? <sighs> Both of you need to stop making accusations. <sighs> the issue is unrelated to race. There simply isn't enough food to go around in Pelagian. Unless all nations coordinate how much food they have, they need and adjust this trade accordingly, there will be no long-term solution. Why don't we try negotiating with the merchants of Menesia? The Synth may have more surplus than the other nations. Mm. Perhaps we could act as an uh, intermediary and facilitate additional trade with the Synth. Let's give it a shot. As you heard, we will go to the Synth to negotiate. While we're there, we will procure some food for your father. But really? Thank you. We run into truly blessed to have you as our guardian, Lord Dolim. <laughs> Figures you take the Renan's side. It is not because she is a Renan. She is in need, so I offer assistance. I would do the same for you. Besides, I am merely a representative of Renna. It is not the position many assume that it is. Dolim. I apologize, but we must make a leave. Uh, okay. Dohalim? You okay, Dohalim? People misunderstand the position I hold, but that does not change the fact that I must do what I can to help when necessary. If you say so. Unless the part of ascent. It's a reconstruction. Fair enough. Guardian of the Renans, huh? That's quite the title, Dohalim. They miss no. So oh, I'm going to warp there, and then we'll hear the rest of that one together. Uh, where was it? It's right here. That's handy. Homer, that doesn't reflect reality. I didn't choose it, nor do I want it. I am not a lord of old, ruling over the Renans. I do not seek to stand above the people, but among them as a fellow human being. Right. You seem to enjoy being a mediator more than a leader. You're dealing in wholesale foods, right? Can we talk to you a bit? <laughs> oh, Kisara! And Lord Dohalim as well! I am pleased to see you are well. I'm honored that you even remember me. I didn't expect to see you back in this neck of the woods. We have a favor to ask you of you regarding business. Legion is running short on uh, you're running short on yawns. So we were wondering if you could sell some food to them. Although the timing is perfect. Uh, see, my acquaintance has a caravan and is looking to expand his business in Pelagian. I'll talk to them and ask if they can deliver some of our food to Pelagian as well. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm sure the people of Pelagian will be glad to hear that. Hmm. Thing is, the wholesale food business is going to be problematic in the long term. What's the matter? Since the world changed a year ago, it seems like the soil in Menencia has also changed a bit from how it used to be. Maybe that's why the crops aren't as bountiful as before. Kassara, could you do something about okay. it? So commerce is also taking a hit. Okay, we'll talk to the Department of Welfare to see if something can be done. That would be great, thank you. <laughs> You're so likeable, Kassara. You kind of remind me of uh, old Lord Dovalim. Uh, is that a compliment? Anyway, thank you about Pelagian. If you need help with anything else, let me know any time. Oh, we have another favor to ask. Do you have any particularly nutritious food that you can part with at the moment? This is unrelated to the wholesale issue. We need it urgently, uh, urgently for a sickly citizen in need. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear about that, but unfortunately I've just run out of stock. I do apologize. It'll be a while until I restart, so it'll probably be faster to go gather supplies yourself. I'll give you a list of the most nutritious things I know of. You should have no problem gathering them. Thank you. I appreciate so it. Then. We better go get started. Probably have it. Be surprised by don't. You seem to have accepted your position I sure do. as someone the people can rely on. Boss fish. Oh, boss fish. I might not have. Being there for those in need comes with the territory. Besides, I'm happy to do it. It's a vital part of maintaining the peace, wouldn't you say? Yes, I think I would. Uh, let me look at the thing. Oh, I don't have to wrap it, me? Really? I thought I did. I got three in the previous mausoleum. Unless, oh, did I need one for like one of the food I made? Oh, I must have. That's unfortunate. If so, um, so yeah. Uh, okay. Why am I going here? 
Looks like we made it here in one. Do I? I guess I don't need to be here. No, I guess I need to. Okay, right. Oh, where would I get that though? Peace. Can I buy some? Let's find out. I don't know actually. If not, I actually don't really know where to get some. Looks like we made it here in one, one piece. Um, let's see. Uh, I hope you do sell some. Scrap me. That's not what I. Well, it depends on if that counts. Did it count? I. My guess is no. It sure didn't. Okay. Oh, jeez. Where would I get some? I honestly do not know. Um. That's very annoying. The ranch? Maybe? Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna be searching forever. Uh, you finally made it. I'm actually gonna be searching forever. I genuinely do not know. Um. Oh, jeez. Raise livestock, I guess. Uh, rapid. I guess I need to. Um, select feed, just miracle feeds, just, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I guess I'll do that and hope for the best. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go and do a different quest, I guess, whilst I'm on the road. Uh, so there's a quest over there, okay. Um, it's weird that it's over there, but sure, I can do that. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I can't complete that right Finally. now, but at least I've set up the, the like, I've set up the, the necessary parts of it, I suppose. So we, we can get there soon enough. It is what it is. Uh, I would prefer to not fight you. I mean, it would, I would also prefer to just find some rapid loot. I think I only need one. Um, I might need more, but I'm, it can't be much if I need. Um, but it's what it is. It's fine. I don't really care too much. Oh, it's up here. Whoops. Guess who's gonna be fighting them? No, it's not me. I'm not. Hurrah! Let's see what's going on Hello. Here. Yeah. Huh? Oh, wait. Weren't you in the bureau? Law? What are you doing here? That's my line. What are you doing here? Huh? Think I can just cast off my bureau uniform and live a quiet life in the city? There are many who hold a grudge against all bureau members. If they find me, I could be killed. You got a good pal and around with a hero, even though you were a snake eye just like me. What will it take to wash away my past as an underling of the Renans? Do I have to save the world too? Oh. I don't know about that, but I'm not face this past. He worked very hard to find what he could to make it, could do to make up for it. He still does all he can. Well, Why you? You that woman they called a denim mage? You're like two outcasts licking each other's wounds. Makes me want to puke. Why you? What the hell did you just say? Can't stand being near either of you. I've, I've got better things to do. Coward. He's lucky he's so fast. I'm sorry you had to go through that. No. It's okay. You have nothing to apologize for. But did you notice something? He ran off towards Mess uh, Mess Messiah 224. He was trying and failing to keep his bag hidden from us. Bag? Now that you mention it, he was holding something. So what? What about it? I'm just curious about what's in it. He said he had better things to do. He seems pretty desperate. And if he's bitter about people judging him for his past, you might think he has something dangerous in that bag. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking things. It's worth checking it out. Let's go to Messiah 224 and track him down. It's nice to have them... Sure. I was gonna say, it's nice to have them have a quest together. They don't have enough. That man said that. He... Uh, no, not that. That. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah I kind of wished it played during the loading screen, Pick but oh well. I hope Rinwell and Law don't take his words too seriously. Both of them have faced their pasts and are now looking forward to the future, but words can still hurt. And we should keep an eye on them. I agree. They'll be fine. I believe them. Or believe in them, I should say. But, yes. Uh, oh wait. 
It's here. Hello. I guess. Hey, you seen a suspicious guy come this way? You saw the bag about Yay Big. Hmm? No, I haven't. La. La, look behind him. Hey, what have you got in that snow behind you? Let me take a look. What is the meaning of this? You hiding the bag in there? That snow is way out of place. And I can see the damn bag! What? Oh, no way! I hide it good! Aha! You are hiding it! You tricked me! I can't see the bag, but that's the only snow around here that's unnaturally packed down, so it's pretty obvious. Oh, damn it. You know the guy we're looking up for? I don't know any snake eyes. I never said he's a snake eye. So you do know him! What's in the bag? What is he planning to do to the village? No, wait a sec! There's nothing dangerous in there. The bag is just full of rations, food! He'd never do anything to this village. He's just looking out for his old man and gave me... His old man? I mean, he's your son? La! La, you don't need to be so aggressive. Look, you're making him nervous. Well... <sighs> Sorry, look. The truth is, I was also in the Bureau. I ran into your son before coming here. He was acting strange, so I got worried. If food's all that's in the bag, then we'll leave you alone. Sorry for making wild accusations. So you used to be like my boy, huh? And I have a favor to ask of you. Tell him he's atoned enough. That he should run far from here and stop worrying about me. Atoned? My son regularly sneaks into the village and leaves food in front of our house. He must feel guilty about sending me to the floodlights. He sent his own father? But even though it was his duty as a snake eye, he looked like he was hesitating at the time. He must have doubted what he was doing as he sent others to the floodlights. <laughs> though he's no longer a snake eye, I doubt others will forgive my son for what he did. So I want him to run far away and live somewhere safe. It may sound selfish, but to me it hurts more to think that my son is being tied down because of me. Hey, I know I said some nasty things to you, but can I go tell him what you said? I know what it feels like to be bound by the past. I know how you feel. I still can't forgive Al Al Almadria, even after all this time. But being with you, all of you, made me realize that I need to let some things go. So let's do it. Let's find the guy and tell him what his father said. You can wait here. I promise I'll tell him. <sighs> Thank you. It's been rough not having anyone to talk to about this kind of thing. Yeah, I thought it might be there. Uh, wait, where? Oh, in the same place, of course. Makes sense. Are you okay, Ma? Hmm? Yeah. I was just thinking back on my time with the Snake Eyes. I was a serious mess back then. But I still can't believe I really arrested my own dad. Oh, Ma. Sorry. Now's not the time for old regrets. Yeah, that was rough. Like, <laughs> I mean, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that was, like, a turning point in the game where I was like, oh, this is gonna, like, it was already quite dark. I was like, oh, this is gonna be way darker. Sweet. Good stuff. A horde of Zoogles! That's where the former Snake Eyes member was, right? Was it attacked? You gotta be kidding. If he's dead, imagine how his father will feel. Uh... Here comes even more. It's dangerous to stick together like this. Let's split up. Yasara and Dolin go that way. Law and I will be here. Shion and Rinwell go... Alfin, leave him to me! I gotta tell him what his father said. I just got to! Law. I can't really explain it, but I... Law sees himself in that guy. When Law looks at him, he sees his own past. His own suffering. And wants to help. Rinwell. I've told you! I know how it feels to be bound by the past. That's why you and I have to find that former Snake Eye and clear up the confusion. Yeah, you're right. Let's go, Rimwell. I've got your back! Alfin, you sure about letting just the two of them go? Yeah, they'll be fine. We should get going too. Okay, let's get this done. Let's go! go no further. Cool. This is fun. Holy I'm gonna play as you, I think. I think I would feel better playing as Law. As as fun as it would be to play as Rimwell, I am not a normal player. 
I am not a law player either, as it turns out, but still. It's, it's, I'll be better as law than I would win well. Oh, there's loads more. What a surprise. I'm not even slightly surprised, actually. Nice. Law is fun to play, to be fair. I, like what I, what I love about the combat in this game is it's just very much like there's there's so many different styles. It's purely down to what you prefer. Like you can you can just do what you like. Like there's there's something for everyone. Like I I, I have my preferences and you know like I I generally prefer plays out and there are going to be people who prefer to play as Rim and Xion and, and yeah that's totally fine. Whatever works. As long as you have fun, that's all that matters, really. Oh, of course there's more. I'm not surprised by this at all. Still more. Oh my god, how many are there? I'm close to death. Which ain't good. I do have life if I need it. I've got life stones and if I oh, oh Rim, I didn't realise Rimwell was dead. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm going to need to use uh I don't want to use a heavy treat. I'll just use Grape on me. Great, we are fine. Ish. We are fine ish. Yeah, this is. Like, not like super hard or anything, but it's like there's just enough going on, and I'm not used to playing with lore, and I'm also not used to, you know, just playing with two people. And also no healers, so it's just like, it's enough to break me a little bit. But there we go. We're good. It's fine. That's where you were hiding. Thank goodness you aren't hurt. What? Law? And that woman from earlier? Were you looking for food to give to your dad to atone? Well, how did you know? Well, we met your dad and he asked us to pass along a message to you. Your father said you've atoned enough. You should run far from here and stop worrying about me. You did? Really? Your dad was worried about you. The food was never meant as atonement. But if I didn't try something to get rid of his, this guilt, I was gonna go crazy. I'm estranged from my father. I rebelled and ran away from home. I went through a lot after that. I joined the bureau out of fear that someone would turn me in and... sent my father, my own father, to the floodlights. I arrested my own dad, too. You know that, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I'm jealous your parents aren't both dead. I think your dad just wants you to live. I don't want to die, either. But it's my fault that Dan and Zinsa slowed and are so distrustful of each other. I sent countless people to the floodlights, and now I'm supposed to leave my father and flee? How am I supposed to live with myself? Hey! What will you live for from now on? Huh? When I was struggling with my own emotions, my friends told me this. The words all, always make my, their own way into my heart, though through any anger or regret that may be there. Ah, I see. I have a lot more life to live. I don't know if the words that saved me will have the same effect on you. I don't think regret can be something to live for. So maybe your dad wants you to find something new you can live for. I... I want to see my father. I don't just want to pass him rations. I want to apologize. To redeem myself. Before that, I want to make my amends to everyone else. I'll do what I've got to do to keep and keep living. It'll be difficult to earn the forgiveness of everyone you've wronged. Impossible, maybe. 
I know. But if that's what you want to do, you should do it. The wrongs you've done will always be with you. If you think you can do something to make up for them, do it. <sighs> oh, so you're like me too. I've made up my mind. I'm not running anywhere. I'll pay for what I've done no matter what it takes. And once I've done that, once I'm ready, I'll apologize to my father. Directly, man to man. Hey, tell me, is repentance the same thing as regret? Is it enough to keep someone alive? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. And besides, now you're facing forward, ready to move on. You'll be fine. I'm so ashamed. You guys are all so encouraging. But I lashed out at you like that. Thanks, guys. Sorry for what I said before. I'll work harder so I can live with my dad. I hope he can live with his dad again. Yeah. Listen, Rinwell. Thank you for everything. You didn't just get him fired up, but me too. Well, just like you, I took helping that man as another opportunity to look back on my own past. <laughs> so, I should be thanking you. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What's the matter, Hoodle? Oh, it's okay, Hoodle. No, I didn't do anything wrong this time. Wait, well, what do you mean this time? <laughs> Base too tall. <laughs> Love to see it. I had my doubts for a time, but Law and Rinwell have both gotten stronger. Yes, our concerns were unfounded. They've both grown a staggering amount. When we first met up again, I still saw them as children that needed my protection. But I was wrong. It's actually a little sad to realize. It can be lonely when those you once protected no longer truly need your help. But they have become excellent friends and allies. Don't you think? Yeah, I really do. That is a gorgeous sky. Right. Where is that? Oh, I see. Right. Oh, I know. Okay, right. Cool. Fair enough. I can do this. Me thinks. Into the collection room we go. I briefly forgot this place existed, I'll be honest. But hey, it's good I to hear be back. A voice. Somebody's at hmm. Say, I've got a bit of a request for you. Will you hear me out? Mm -hmm. Sure, what's up? As I mentioned before, those days of Cislodans, uh, keeping an eye on each other, had, uh, has had a lasting impact. The biggest issue is how people are treating the former informants. Well, they're still taking flack for their past actions. Yeah. The anger of those who lost their families because of the informants won't go away in a mere year. The Silver Swords have forbidden personal vendettas, but not everyone's satisfied with that. A few extreme informant hunters have been attacking former informants. That's nothing more than pointless violence. Yeah, we can't let this slide. But it's not like people will voice their discontent out in the open. Sure. That's what, that was the norm up until a year ago. I, uh, hiding your true feelings in the world. Honestly, I find it easier to talk to outsiders like yourselves. I'm sure others feel similarly. I see. So that's what you wanted to ask of us. Hmm. It is. Talk to the villagers and hear out their feelings on the former informants. I'd like to hear everyone's true feelings. From former informants and those who detest them. Got it. Okay. Thanks, you're a huge help. A local like myself couldn't investigate these waters. Alright, fair enough. Can do. So I guess I just need to talk to a bunch of people and then come back. Dragon's got it tough with so much to work. Uh, okay. Someone in the entrance, may as well. Wait. He about. Let's do what we can to lighten the Silver Sword's load. Ugh. What do you think of the informant hunter? What do I think of the informant hunters? Well, hell. You asked that knowing I used to be an informant, right? You're just here to get your jollies harassing me, aren't you? Well, I've had enough of this crap! What? Wait, you used to be inf an informant? We had no clue! We're here at the behest of the Silver Swords to gather opinions on informants and the populace. We don't mean you any harm. Some things may not be easy to talk about, but we want to hear what you have to say. <sighs> oh, really? The thing is, someone in town told everyone that I used to be an informant. 
As a result, I've had to endure all sorts of abuse. I thought you'd come for your own pound of flesh. Sorry. Though, to be honest, I don't blame them for coming for revenge. Hmm. Even with all that abuse? After everything I've done, I'm in no position to complain. I've exploited others for my own gain. But then I got informed on by another guy and ended up in forced labor myself. What goes around comes around, I guess. Well? Is it something you want? Like, do you want the silver swords to protect you? Hmm. Nah, I don't want anything like that. Though if you really want to know? This may be an odd answer, but I want to atone for my mistakes. For the sake of those I've wronged. Rather than hide from the informant hunters, I'd rather make amends in front of everyone. It's probably too late for that, though, so I'm just living here quietly. Thanks. Is that so? Thanks for telling us. Alright, where else are we going? We are going to all of these places. Fair enough. Fair enough. Finally made it. Hmm? Informant hunting? Hmm. It's difficult to say in public, but I think it should be allowed. Can I ask why you think that yes. is? Both my parents were taken after someone informed on them. I haven't seen them since. I've mourned them ever since that day. If it meant freeing myself from that pain, even <sighs> I'd... I see. My sister seems to think differently than I do. <sighs> You know, sis, I hate informants too. I just don't see any good coming from taking revenge on them. But it's the Renans who are really bad. Why should Danans hate each other after all this time? Yeah. You've forgiven them then? No, I haven't. I mean, how could I? It's just... Violence won't solve anything. Right. You're right. It may provide some temporary relief, but it won't make your sadness go away. It hurts to hold on to anger for so long without an outlet for it. It's why they want to resort to violence. Yeah. Maybe it'd feel better if I talked to people around town with similar experiences. But that's not happening. Talk of other people, Thanks. huh? Thanks for sharing your honest opinions. Both of you. It's helpful. No problem. Looks like we made it here in one piece. The informant hunters? I don't think that's right. Well... Could you tell me why you feel that way? Back then, everyone was so desperate to survive. There's no point condemning someone for making a mistake. I was also informed on by someone and put in forced labor. But I have no hard feelings towards them. Hmm. Even after what you've been through? Yes. Though maybe it's only because I was able to come back alive. It's sad to see people hating each other again after barely surviving, you know. I see. Yeah, I feel the same way. Thanks for telling me. And one more. Ah, uh, okay. Central Plaza. So... It's weird that there's no warp point to the plaza. I don't really understand why. We've reached if... our destination. Like, by all accounts, there's no specific reason for it. It just seems odd that there isn't. But, oh well. What the hell? What do you want? We just want to have a little chat. No need to be so scared. I've just been a, it's just been a while since anyone tried to talk to me. Everyone assumes I was an informant. What, so you're mistaken for a former informant? Uh, yes. Lots of people around me were taken away. But it wasn't my doing. Uh, that sounds tough. Condemned for something you didn't even do. Damn it. Exactly. Why do I still have to live in fear even after the Renans left? People are wielding so-called justice with this informant hunting. But what if an innocent people, a person like me ends up getting attacked? Have you tried making your case of everyone? <sighs> of course I did. But who believed the words of our former informant? Ugh. I guess. If only you could get them to understand what really happened. There must be some way. No. Uh, uh, yawning, Jesus Christ. It's very late for me. <laughs> Not that I can think of. Uh, hold on. I know. 
If you meet the others, please make a case of my innocence. Even though the Renan subjugation has ended, no one in town seems truly happy. Yeah. This is the right place, right? If it's not, well, fine. A year has Get passed, it. but they're still gloomy. I know it's not an easy thing to get over, but still. There must be something we can do. Yeah, it is, uh, it is half eleven. I intended to stop At least before recording this. I was like, no, I'm gonna do the side quest now. And now I'm feeling tired. <laughs> Which is fair. I see. So they all have their own thoughts, huh? Thanks for letting me know. Now I have an idea of what everyone's thinking at the very least. Mm, but we still don't know what to do. True. Each side has their own thoughts. I think it'll take time to solve this problem. Hmm. It's probably better that they can at least talk to each other more openly without us in between. I feel like it's getting more complicated because everyone is uh, holding it in with their hearts closed off. It's just as you say. Long run and subjugation left deep scars in these people. I wonder if there's a way to open the hearts of people like that. Frickin, you've been working hard on a seriously tough issue, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. The only thing I look forward to these days is a drink when I get That's home. Right. A drink? That's it! Can we use that? Well? Did you think of something? Yeah. yeah. Why don't we get all the adults in town together for a round of drinks? Obviously, I don't drink, but adults seem to talk more when they drink, right? That goes to show that show they let their guards down. Maybe they'll be able to say what's on their minds. Huh. You're right. Booze can be a way to get to loosen someone's lips. Yes. Yeah, that might just work. Lots of folks in Cislodia enjoy a good drink. Keeps the cold at bay. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. That means we'll uh, need silicon and lots How of about it. it. We can get the ingredients for silicon from Zucos, right? Let's go gather some. I might have it. Oh, we've already got it. Yay. You sure you're willing to give these to me? Sure. You need it, don't you? Oh, thanks for that. That's enough to make plenty of silicon. Uh, I feel bad as all, for always being helped by you yes. guys. It'll take a while to make this much, but when we're done, let's have a big party hosted by the Silver Swords. <laughs> Hopefully people from all over town will come. Oh, I'm sure they'll come, lured by the booze. But what's important is what comes next. It's, it's not something that can be solved by the power of booze alone, is it? But I'm sure it'll be a good step for people in the city to talk frankly. Yay! Does another quest open up here by any chance? Fire water to melt people's frozen hearts. I'd like us to join them on the day of the banquet as well. If everyone's drinking, won't fights break out? So what if they do? No way to get closer to someone than having a good rumble, I say. You might be right. Maybe what Cislodia needs right now is a way to release some pent-up pressure. Right, uh, not that. Let's see. Oh, I'm actually surprised there's no quest. Oh my god! Uh, okay, so I guess I need to go to the uh, the ranch, I guess, um, and see if my pig meat is here. I want pig meat, lots of it. Uh, you finally made it. I must admit, I find your appearance and ways of living to be intriguing. Oh my god, I can't get past you. You're impossible. You are too big. Um, so yes, how, I can't remember how this works. Um, uh, how does this work? I don't recall. Um, guard livestock, from guard duty. It, I haven't done this in so long. I don't really remember how it works, but it hasn't worked. So, I guess I will go and do the quest at the inn. Oh, actually, I can walk to the inn. Um, oh, there's a quest. That, no, there's, that's the final quest. Oh, there's, there's, there's. I'm surprised it didn't show up, actually. But hey-ho. All right, let's get back to gathering info on wedding ceremonies. You and Rinwell looked into flowers, right? So what's next on the docket? I'm thinking food should be next. The food at Kagari's wedding was really amazing. I still remember it. That's so. 
Hey, didn't I hear something real similar from Xion? <gasps> that was close. I almost let something slip. I uh, don't know anything about that. I just have an interest in wedding foods. What should be served, how it should be prepared, stuff like that. I just want to learn. True, you can't just serve anything you want that tastes good. If you served hot dogs at a wedding, people would riot. Yeah, wedding food should be a treat for the guests. So I'm sure Danons and Renans will each prefer different things. Let's start by looking into the Renan side. Yeah, I agree. We can begin by asking Doholim. Ah, sorry. Doholim's on Xion distraction duty. I'm doing my best to keep her in the dark, too. So we've got to be sure she doesn't overhear us. Hmm, I see. In that case, maybe Doholim's friends Avakir and Faria can help us out. Ah, those two that were on Lenigus. They're over in Pelagian now, right? Yeah, that's a good place to start. Let's go see them and see what they have to say. Okay, I'll look at the diary after we've done this whole quest, I guess. Um, Dinner yeah, so. wedding reception. What would you pick for the menu, Law? I'd want a bunch of tasty meat. Just pile my plate with meat and I'll be happy as a clam. <laughs> I should have known you'd say that. And I imagine you're not the only one who feels that way. Right? But since it's a fancy shindig, I guess you probably need some fancy food, too. True. I hope Avakir and Faria can give me some good suggestions. Wait, I thought I saw... Yeah, I definitely saw, like, a normal quest there. I'm surprised it disappeared. I guess it's because... Yeah, I guess it disappeared because it was acting as, like, the, the gold quest. Like, it had just both to symbolize both. Finally. I don't know. Either that or the uh, the other quest has been entirely locked off because I've started this. I do not know which. I'm... it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, who cares? Sorry to bother you, but... oh, wait! Oh, you're the food, sorry. I... right. Honestly? Honestly, I forgot about you. Like, <laughs> genuinely, genuinely forgot you were there. I was like, okay, here comes cutscene. Yes, I forgot about that quest. Pick me. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, sure. I know it's sudden, but Doholim's busy, so we were hoping the two of you could tell us a bit about Renan customs. I'm surprised you'd come to us, but we'd be happy to help out a friend of Dome's. didn't know weddings were popular here. They're a custom that goes way back on Renan. What kind of food do you serve at Renan weddings? Let's see. For the guests... Oh, you've got to have a huge cake. The bride and groom cut the cake together in front of all the guests, then feed each other a slice. They feed each other? I'd be too embarrassed to do something like that. Wait, Alfin, are you asking about weddings to prepare for your own? In that case, you've got to make sure your partner has a say. But I guess that would be tough if you want to make it a surprise. Uh, no. I'm just curious, so I'm doing some research. I'm not keeping this a secret because I want to surprise someone. I'm just not familiar with the customs and want to learn. I see. Seeking knowledge on subjects out of your wheelhouse is a noble pursuit. <laughs> you've taught us a lot. Thanks, Avakir. Thanks, Faria. Now that we've learned about Renan customs, why don't we ask someone about the Danon ones? Sure, but who should we ask? I guess we could start by going to see Doc. Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Uzlebeck. Does Doc's knowledge include... I love how, like... Like, it, it seems like, oh yeah, we'll just go to Uzlebeck, but like, this takes days just to ask a question. <laughs> Travel the world. <laughs> Like, there's the no way you could hide this for Shion. Like, like oh yes, we sure. want to go to Uzbek. Why? Uh... I suppose those aren't really his areas of expertise. I guess I might have a bad habit of turning to Doc whenever I have a problem. You must really trust him. It's good to have someone like that when you're lost or confused. And he clearly doesn't mind. Hey, Doc. There's something I want to talk to you about. Weddings? I don't even know what that is, let alone what kind of food you should serve. 
Calaglio was poor, and we couldn't even afford to think about stuff like that when we were slaves. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I've heard of weddings. They're ceremonies for people that are getting married, right? Married, you say? Alfin, you thinking of settling down? It's more that I haven't thought about it enough, so I want to prepare a little for when the time comes. I was all prepared to take a parental role and give you my blessing. But you're not tying the knot? You know, Alfin, you really haven't changed at all. Maybe not. There's still a lot I don't know. So much I have to learn. So if Doc doesn't know anything, what now? I can't think of anyone else who might know about weddings. Do you know anyone who's done that marriage ceremony? If you do, maybe you could ask them. Oh, right! We do know one couple, Kagari and Notio. Of course, why didn't I think of asking them? We attended their wedding, and theirs is the one that set off this whole wedding craze to begin with. They're the perfect pair for us to talk to. Then our next destination is set. I'm sure they'll have all kinds of useful information. Seems like everything's settled here, then. Good luck, Alfin! Alright. Let's, uh... Where would that be? Is it here? Uh, first time? Yeah. I mean, they should have been the first people you talk to. <laughs> and you could literally ask them everything you need to know. Next they could, go to Kagari and they could give place. you their really white... They sure glorious well. clean binder like that has everything about their wedding. Well, they're married, so that's a good thing, right? Yeah, for them. But it's hard to know how to respond when they're acting like that. Oh my, hello. Are you here for Notio? Or did you come to see me? Both of you, actually. Can we ask you some questions about wedding ceremonies? Of course. It would be our pleasure. Our wedding ceremony is one of my most important memories with my beloved Kagari. Ask us anything. What should we talk about first? How about the day I decided to marry my sweet Notio? Uh, sorry. Maybe we can get to that later. For now, I want to know about the food. See, I'm currently gathering information on food that's served at weddings. What kinds of dishes guests will enjoy, that kind of thing. You two have experience, so I was hoping you could share your insights. Of course. We'd be happy to. Our ceremony was very simple, but we did it our way. We didn't worry too much about Danon or Renan traditions. We decided to do whatever made us happy. It's the thought that counts, after all. I think you should prepare whatever the couple wants to eat. Or something they want their guests to eat. The thought that counts. Taking care of your guests, you mean? Thank you. That's helpful. Oh, and we prepared dishes with ingredients that are said to be auspicious. Since everyone came all the way just for us, we wanted our guests to feel happy too. Everyone who attended seemed to enjoy it, so I recommend doing the same. But gathering everything was quite an ordeal, remember, Notio? We were only able to serve what we did through sheer luck. What do you mean by sheer luck? The merchant we talked to said it was a miracle he got everything, and that he'd never be able to manage it again. Wow, it's that much trouble. And it may be tough to procure those kinds of ingredients. If that's the case, we should try to gather everything ourselves and see what we can do. Uh, you want to gather things now? Even though you're not getting married yet? Yeah. I want to make sure I know how to get what I need. I want all my bases covered. <sighs> okay. You sure put your all into things you're serious about, huh, Alfin? I appreciate your help, Law. So, what kinds of auspicious ingredients should we go after? Sea bream is a high-class fish with an elegant taste. So it's often seen in celebratory meals in Thessalum. They also said something about lemons bringing good luck. I don't know why, but they said it'll keep you from catching a cold. Where I'm from, we eat rat pig meat on special occasions. It's supposed to be good for your health. Sounds like certain ingredients carry special meaning. We'll see what we can scrounge out. I couldn't help but notice one of them is what I'm farming for right now. I think the others mm, I've got. Food we both like that also feels special. Guess I'll start with stuff I like. Be a good idea to find some spices. The spiciest stuff they've got around here. I'd caution against too many unusual flavors. It's best to stick with the recommended ingredients, especially in your case, Alfin. Yeah, I'll get the sea bream, because I think I already have some, but you know, I'll get more. Um But yeah, the uh the rapping meat is the uh the problem at the moment. As I'm waiting for my rapids to grow, I figured, let's give this another whirl. I've put on some food which allows me to 
Uh, basically, I have a lot of defense, 20% extra defense. I think that'll be helpful. I could be wrong, but let's give it a whirl. I think we can do it. Level 91, we're at the right level for this. I think. Because, yeah, that's three levels more than we were last time, right? So that, that's, that seems like enough. Whether I'm correct, <laughs> we will see. But let's do it. Let's do it anyway. I, I believe in us. I believe in us completely and utterly. Run. <laughs> The thing is, I don't know what Phase 2 is like, but I don't think Phase 2 is going to be that bad. That did loads. That did all. Oh, that did 12,000 effectively. Because I hit all three parts of you. Mmm. Let's keep doing that. Although, it doesn't... It, whilst I'm seeing the number three times, it looks like the health is actually going down three times, which is a bit disappointing, I'll be honest. I shouldn't have done that. I should have, I should have saved it. I should have saved it when you're actually stunned. So I can stun you. Why didn't I save it? I'm a fool. For I am but the fool. Oh, I broke the other core. Oh, that is... That's stunning. Okay. Well, so far, it's going quite well. Will that last forever? No. Okay, we want to do this before the explosion hits, if possible. Might not. Depends on how the explosion works. No, the explosion is wasted. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, so far, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it does feel like it's going significantly better. Okay, let's stun you, hopefully. Did it? It did not. Well, that's fine. Move! Oh dear! Shion, if you would be so kind as to heal me, that would be wonderful. 6,000 is not a lot. Oh, Shion, don't die. Oh dear. You know how it was going so well? It might be about to go real bad all of a sudden. We will see. I'm just trying to stun you as much as I can. Shion, don't die for the love of God. Oh, I'm alive. I didn't even realize. Shion, heal yourself as much as you can. Now. Heal yourself now. Really important that you do. Don't die, Shion, please. Please, Shion. You've got to survive. No! Oh wait, real bad. Okay, the good news is I'm alive. That is good. So is Rimwell. It's something. You got this. We got this. Together, you and me. Together we can do this. Okay. In a bind, I'll be honest, in a bind didn't really do much. Hey, that's nice. Didn't really do much, but still, you know. Oh dear, that's ha! <laughs> it's bad. It's real bad. Kind of wish I saved it for the final bit, but you know, it's needed, I guess. Just one hit will do it. Okay, right now, phase two. With no hits, this is uh, not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good, actually. No, it's looking quite bad. I am not feeling confident. How much health does Rimwell have? I didn't see. Probably more than me. Right, your mouth is the weak spot. Interesting. I... Well then, that's bollocks! That is bollocks! <laughs> that was bollocks! What?! No! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to move! I just died! Whoa, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, this is going significantly better this time. We're all alive, that's a start. <laughs> it, it does make a difference, you know, just a small one. Now, we just need to do, like, five hits, and then we go to phase two. In theory, it's easy, right? Yes, okay, here we go. Ready for phase two. We're all alive. That's a great start. Now the question is, are we going to get hit immediately? Because that was balls. <laughs> like I had no control. Oh man. Come on, we can do this. We know we can beat you. I don't know what your deal is. I don't even remember fighting you like at all. I have no recollection in, of doing it in the base game. It's, oh, God, I did it again. It's possible that you are just new to this DLC. But I don't remember. So I can't say. 
Oh, I'm about to die. Here's a healing up, thank you. Right, let's see if we can stun you at all. That'd be nice. That would be nice, it's true. We did stun you. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Xion. You can attack it now, and so can you, and yes, all of, all of this. Okay, come on. Solid start. Yeah, you are very aggressive when you attack, but once you get past that, it's not too bad. At least I don't think it is. Oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, oh, perfect core break. That's what we want. Okay, halfway there. Come on! Come on, we can do this! As long as Shion doesn't die, we're good. Okay. I'm not using my special yet. I'm waiting for it. Oh, we've taken out phase 3 real quick. Okay, let's see if I can stun you. Did I? I did not. That is fine. It was worth a shot. I was hoping that would stop it. Never mind. That's fine. Oh boy. Thank you, Xion. Really appreciate you. Okay, let's do this. Come on. We are so close. Oh, I'm standing here, I want the health. Absolutely worth it, thank you. Oh, please stun you. That would be so good if it did. Oh, it's game over. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, yes! The Shimina's not third phase. We <laughs> did it. Oh, that was definitely under nine minutes. I've been recording for nine minutes, and that was with two attempts, so we have definitely done that. Might have been under five. Yay, Elite Vanguard again! I got a trophy! Not mistaken, that's your first victory here. Yeah, it sure is. Astral Flower 10. And because we did that, we got three Omega Elixirs. It was under five minutes. Yeah, it sure was. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, man. Uh, I could go and get these. I don't really need them right now. I mean, it would, uh, it would be nice to completion. Uh, but Solo Battle. Um, where is it? Yes, there it is. Iron Pipe. I want that Iron Pipe. So let's go. Let's do it. I want it now. Right, now I am alone, I'm aware. I don't know how difficult this is going to be. We'll find out, won't we? We sure will. We sure will. It's going to be a fun learning experience for all. Bye. Okay, I say bye, and what I mean is attack as much as, as, much as humanly possible. Uh, yeah, you need to die. You're a, you're a real threat. Okay, but it's not attacking you, so we're not going to attack you. If it's just these four, then I can deal with that. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it'll be a bit more than that, but hey, if it is just these four, great. And my guess is these four and then a boss at the end. But I have to defeat on my own. How lucky for me. Right, please just attack that one. It's the bigger threat. Actually, arguably you might be, but... I don't know which is the bigger threat, actually. God damn, I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm in big trouble already. And to be fair, I'm it's the recommended level is 90, I'm barely over that. I'm just gonna waste it, I don't care. I just need to get rid of you as quickly as possible. Okay! One to go! With no health. Oh yeah, no, my health is like actually at nothing. Okay, well I'm screwed. <laughs> yep, there it is. Yeah, 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 now I know. Oh, I know! I know there's more. Oh, I knew that. From the get-go. I knew. There it is. <laughs> right. Solid shit first attempt. So let's try attempt two, shall we? Oh my god, there's so much more. Oh no. Oh, I'm very screwed. Oh boy. I'm very, very screwed. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh, I thought two waves were rough. Oh bo oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I give up. This is stupidly difficult. I can't even get to phase 3 anymore. Like, 
I don't I don't know what I did to get to phase three, but there were still five more enemies and I had like one HP, so there's absolutely no chance of this happening. Alright, I don't care about this weapon. I don't think there's an achievement for getting it anyway, so I do not give a fuck. Um, right, so. Uh, let me check the ranch. Please, eh, God, any one of them be raised. Please, Jesus Christ. Like, any single pig. Looks like we made it here in one piece. No! I think it just said some of my animals have reached maturity. Let's go, 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 so, we can now finish both these quests. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, it's taking so long. Oh my god. Turns out, like, I just needed to run off a mouse. I didn't realise that the mouse actually stopped me from receiving my food, but it does, apparently, so, there you go. You've already got some auspicious ingredients. And I went on and on about how hard it'd be to get them. Seems I was wasting my breath. It definitely wasn't easy. Okay. I think we got a handle on how to gather what we need. I should be able to lend a hand next time someone's having a ceremony. I also know what to do to prepare for my own wedding. If I ever have one, I mean. <laughs> how about that? I think we got some good info. Uh, if you're doing all this to prepare for your own wedding, you should fully understand what your partner wants before planning the menu. What my partner wants? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be nosy. It's not like that, Kagari. But people keep telling me the same thing. To take my partner's wishes into consideration. But I'm still just doing research, so I don't really understand what that means. So you're doing research to understand what you want for yourself. I think that's wonderful, too. Some people are satisfied as long as they end up married and don't do any planning at all. Those kinds of people are the worst. Yeah, that was a close one. We got some great advice. So I think that should about do it for our culinary investigation. I feel like there was some other auspicious food, but I can't recall what it was. What? There's more? I'm sorry, but I'm sure there was some delicious and auspicious food that both Renans and Ganons enjoy. It was the hardest one to get our hands on. Someone knowledgeable about gourmet should know what it is. Well, now that's got me curious. I've already come this far. I should try to gather some ingredients. Man, I knew you'd say that. But how are we supposed to do that when we don't even know what you want? Ah, maybe that old man will know. You know, the one traveling around in search of fine delicacies? Gordino. He's definitely the perfect person to ask. I know, right? Let's go talk to him next. Thanks for all the help, both of you. I hope what we shared was useful. And there was me thinking it was over. Lol. <laughs> uh, where was he? There he is. Fair enough. Well, yeah, good one. Go somewhere famous for its food, right? Very funny. How foolish of me to assume I was done with my tasks. Next culinary obsession. Please don't get stuck. <laughs> like, this is this has been a stressful video for some reason. Oh, look who it is! What can I do for you? Got more questions about gastronomy? <laughs> An auspicious food for weddings that both Denons and Renans enjoy. I know a few things that fit the bill. Okay, so are any of them something that, uh, that, um, <clears throat> she likes? Huh? What was that? Speak up! I, uh, well, it's, uh, Shion. I need something Shion likes. What are you so angry about? What did I do? You didn't do anything wrong, Gordino. Xion's name just kind of came to mind. Just leave it at that. Well, I've got no idea what's going on. But I know just the thing for that young woman who's always hungry. Oh, come on. Just say it already. Danans love it. Renans love it. That young woman who is always hungry does too. And it's auspicious. Boss Fish checks all the boxes. In the gastronomy world, 
They say that if you eat a boss fish at a special occasion, your family will be bestowed with safety. I didn't know there were legends like that in gastronomy. But it sounds like boss fish is perfect. We'll scrounge some up. Oh, it won't be that easy. Boss fish are hard to find. However, if you aren't able to pass this test, you won't get my blessing to marry my daughter. But who said anything about marrying your daughter? I don't need your blessing. Obviously, I'm joking. I don't have a daughter, but I've always wanted to say that. At any rate, I'm not kidding about boss fish. Good luck getting your hands on some. You'll need it. Don't we already have the boss fish he's talking about? Should we give it to him, Alfin? Gordino, is this what you need? Oh, there's no mistaking it. That's a boss fish for sure. It must have been quite the trial to get this. But hospitality would be meaningless if it were easy, now wouldn't it? You've done well, son. Okay, I'll allow you to marry her. But I won't forgive you if you make my daughter unhappy. <sighs> Not this again. Jokes aside, if you can get your hands on boss fish, then you should be able to get any ingredients you need. Thanks. I think it's fair to say we perfectly understood how to gather what we need. We learned about wedding dishes and how to gather the ingredients. So you must be satisfied now, right, Alfin? Indeed. I owe you my thanks as well, Law. If you ever need more advice about the menu for your wedding, don't hesitate to come see your friend Gordino. Regardless, my fabulous recipe deserves a name. Absolutely. Exquisite! I I hope someday she'll be on board with making the menu too, Alfin. I'm sure she, uh, or your partner, will be happy with anything Gordino cooks. Something my partner will enjoy. I need to think about that too. Hmm? Something bothering you? No, it's just... Everyone we've talked to has mentioned the same thing. My ultimate goal is to learn more about weddings and marriage. That hasn't changed. But Kagari and Notio said that isn't enough, and that I have to think more about my partner. Right, that's why we looked into boss fish. Isn't that enough? Maybe, but I don't know if it counts as taking my partner into consideration. I'll have to give it some more thought. I like these quests, it's fun. Well, I'm happy we did that. I've learned a lot about ingredients and cooking. Let me know the next time you're having trouble. I'll be glad to help. Thanks. I appreciate the offer. No problem. Leave it all to me. Okay, so... Yeah, I was worried there was going to be another... Okay, before we do that, let me let me finish this, shall we? Because I have got what we need, so... Yeah, I knew there would be another one. I think there's probably five quests. <sighs> one for each party member. Finally the final one being Shion. That would make sense. The final one, hopefully, being the actual asking. Um, or not, there might be more, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Oh, Lord Darling! We talked to a merchant in Vicent, and she promised to transport food to Pelagian. It should only be a matter of time before, she sh before the shops are once again flush with the groceries of all kinds. We also procured some nutritious items. Give these to your father, as and he should recover. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything! If you're going to thank me, I'd like you to thank her as well. Doheline. She's the one who took the reins in Vicent. There is only so much I can do on my own. You're, uh... uh Danon. I, uh, uh... Don't... No. No need to thank me. No. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened to my father if it weren't for you. Glad to be of service. I just thought... Talents around Lord Dohalim are his servants or something. But I see now that you're his equal. Hmm. I guess from now on, Renans and Danon should work together like you two. You should just take one step at a time, just like you did now. I'll think about it. Please excuse me now. I want to give this food to my father. Now that the food problem has improved, I hope the situation in Pelagian has moved one step forward. It seems like Pelagian and Vicente are still in need of us right now. Yes. But that's just now. I am certain that eventually Renans and Danans will be able to live together in harmony, even without any one person to guide them. 
We still have a lot to do in order to achieve such a world. What if... Yes? Hmm. What if such a day actually comes, and we are able to leave our cities? What would you do then? Hmm. What to do? What I'd really like is a nice quiet place near the water to relax. <laughs> you don't mind such places either, do you? Well, I suppose you're right. Perhaps I shall be playing some music by the water. Has another quest opened up? That is the question. That is the question. You've helped everyone in this nation and have my facts. You've all gone way above and beyond for us. You are the ones who hold this country together. The day that my presence here is no longer required may come sooner rather than later. Hey. I don't know about that. Sure, more people are back to their old selves, but there's no end to the bickering and quarreling. You take care of whatever you need to do and then come right back. I beg your pardon. I intend to do all that I can to ensure the day comes. Mm -hmm. Someday I'll make a city filled with joy. That way you can leave it behind with a smile on your face. <laughs> One other thing. This is for you. A small token of our appreciation. My oh my. I'm grateful for your kindness. I promise to make good use of it. Oh nice. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Thank you. We've visited countless cities, but everywhere we go, there seem to be more problems than before. Perhaps. But no one can deny that the reconstruction efforts are making steady progress. Where we are now is just the first step on a long road. That's right. With this kind of work on such a large scale, it will probably take decades to complete it all. But if everyone works together towards the same goal, I know we can create a world without suffering. That's right. And even now, there are people with the same ideals as us, all over the world, working to improve their lives. We'll have to do all we can to protect them, and to ensure they can continue to do so in peace. The thoughts and actions of the people alive today will shape the world of future generations yet to come. Yeah. If you see something wrong with the world, the only way to make it better is to step up and do something about it. The people we've seen aiding in the reconstruction have reaffirmed that belief. Still, it can be hard to be optimistic, given the current circumstances. I know, but that's all the more reason for us to keep working to see this through to the end, right? We'll also have our own dreams and goals to work toward, for the sake of the future we're building. You're right. As long as we're together, I'm sure we can do it. I understand your willingness to go to great lengths for your ideals, but I do hope that you're able to take some days off to rest. I could say the same of you. I get it. Because if you both have a day off, you can spend it together, right? Th that's not what I meant. It wasn't? <laughs> Is there another quest? Surprisingly, no. So that means there's one more that shows up after the, uh... After whatever's going on, yeah, 39 out of 40, and the EX quests don't count. Okay, I think we're going to end it there. It's been a long road, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the EX quest with Alfin could take like 20 minutes, and I don't want to do it, so, at least not right now. So uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. It's been a long one, but hey, we made good progress, so I will see you next time when we are going to advance the story, and oh boy... It will be interesting for sure, so I'll see you then.